lot to talk about, but we begin with Stephanie Quirk, who is covering changes to RNC policing after officers from Columbus, Ohio, shot and killed a man yesterday. Steph, what changed today? Well, Milwaukee police say the officers involved in the shooting are no longer working for the RNC. Now, where we're standing near 14th and Vliet is little more than a mile outside the RNC security zone. What we know from Milwaukee police is 43-year-old Samuel Sharp was trying to attack another man with two knives. That's when five Columbus officers shot and killed Sharp. A warning, you may find the body camera video we're about to show you disturbing. He's got a knife. Yes, he does. Hey! 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 hey. Stop! Drop, Drop, Drop the knife! knife. Drop, Drop, Drop the knife! knife. Drop the knife! Police! Drop your knife! Drop! Drop the knife now! Drop the knife! Oh, fire! Oh, fire! Oh, fire! Usually there's not. Now, Milwaukee police say the Ohio officers were part of a bicycle unit involved in potential demonstration response. Today, Milwaukee police say going forward, they will assign MPD officers to out-of-town police and specialty units. And since the incident, we've seen an outpouring of response. Family members tell us Sharp was homeless and lived in a tent community nearby. And many have asked why the Columbus officers were assigned to that area in the first place. Milwaukee police say the decision was in part because it's a point of access to the soft perimeter. Uh, the information we have leaves a clear impression that these Columbus officers, they saved the life of an unarmed man from death or perhaps serious injury. I, I don't know the whole story, um, but what I do know is that he was a good guy and we loved him. Um, and he was very cared for. And Milwaukee police also did note that MPD officers will be handling all regular calls of service. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Stephanie Quirk, Fox 6 News. Steph, I know there's memorial out there and people are memorializing the life lost, but watching that video, you have to think what the family of the man who was presumably saved by those police officers, the man who was being lunged at with that knife, how they feel today since he's still here with us because of police's actions. Have you talked to anybody about that side? You know, I have, as you heard the mayor, uh, he did note that earlier in uh, this morning's press conference saying uh, these these Ohio officers potentially uh, did save that man's life. What I've heard from the community out here is they say this was just a simple fight, a misunderstanding uh, that was taken too far. A fight that one man brought knives to. All right, Stephanie Quirk, thank you.